Hey guys, in today's shave, we're using another classic shave soap. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at Tabak. Coming right up. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. John here, bringing you another installment of the classic soaps and cream series that we're currently doing on the channel. Today's classic shave soap comes from Germany. It is Mohr and Wurtz Tabak. And this is in the shave stick form, 100 grams of shave soap. This one is unused, so you'll be seeing my first shave with it. Although I did use this very same shave stick years ago. Um, quick summary of that experience. Excellent performer, did not get along with the scent. Way too many of you guys listed this one as one of your favorite classics. Also, again, I acknowledge how good of a performer this is, so I had to rebuy it to be able to feature it on today's video. Uh, you can see the attractive packaging. Been going on a bit of a shave stick kick. It also does come in a you know, nicer premium, I believe ceramic or maybe glass jar version. Uh, that's just a lot more soap. Again, not having been the biggest fan of the scent in the first place, I didn't necessarily want more of the soap. So the fact that it comes with a bit less in this form, that works for me. So this is nice. It's a screw on top, so nice and secure. Uh, what would have been nice, I guess, is because the Latoha had the holes on top, uh, in case you use this for travel, although it's a bit of a chunky boy. Also, in terms of price, I got this for, I think, around $10, $11 over on Amazon. The glass tub version is a little bit more expensive, closer to maybe $19 or $20. And let's just take a sniff off the stick right here. So, you know what? It's, um... It's not as bad as I remember, honestly. It's not as bad as I remember. It's definitely more old school as far as the type of scent it is, but there's quite an extensive note breakdown that we'll get to in just a little bit. So uh, we'll give a little more history as well at that point, but let me show you what else we're using for today's shave first. First up for the razor, we're going with a classic Gillette Vintage Razor, and this is the Gillette Red Tip, or Super Speed Red Tip, the most aggressive of the Super Speed line. And you can see it's a good old butterfly or twist to open. It's already been loaded with a Astra SP blade. Yeah, I can do that without dropping it. So this is a very solid razor. It's got the most blade feel and the most efficiency of the Super Speeds. And next up for the brush, Funny story guys, in doing this classic series, I've got reacquainted with my board brushes. So you've seen my Samoog, you've seen my Omega, and this one here is, this is probably the last board brush I purchased, and it is from Zenith here. Zenith is less known than the big brands like Omega and Samoog, but they are readily available online. Uh, this one in particular is the Zenith Big Scrubby. I had to write this down, but the full name for the Big Scrubby is the Pro Aluminum XL Bore Brush. And this has uh, a 28 by 50 millimeter brush knot. It's also called the B14. There's a lot of kind of similar looking brushes from Zenith. Uh, and this one in particular, I found it from The Gentle Shave on eBay. They also have their own online store. You can go uh, to either one. And this comes in at around, I think $30 before shipping. It is a very dense knot and the Big Scrubby in particular has been set lower than their other brushes. In the past, when I've used this, I probably have used this three or four times. It is, uh, the Big Scrubby is too scrubby for me. It is super dense, as I mentioned. Uh, the handle is also, it's, uh, it's actually a nice weight, 92 grams. Anyway, with the lower setting and the glue bump, uh, in the way that this, you know, this bore knot was tied, is effectively a 43 to 46 millimeter loft. So this is for those who love face lathering, but with a lot of scrub as well. Um, also, to be honest, and up front, I don't think this is fully broken in yet, and I did want to give this another try. Last but not least, for today's post-shave product, 
I went with something unscented as I want to try to give the most time with the tabak scent. So I went with Ariana and Evans, the unscented rice water serum here. Uh, this is a nice kind of, uh, as the name would imply, it's kind of a watery, not a, a more thin kind of lotion or balm. Uh, and yeah, quite, quite enjoy this one. All right, so I've applied the shave stick. You can see the streaks of white along here. So let's go in with the Soaked Zenith Board Brush here. And we'll talk a little bit more about the scent. All right, so this information is more on the actual fragrance tabak. Again, this is from Moore and Wurtz. And this was released back in 1959. It's classified as a woody aromatic. And the scent note breakdown, now this is quite the list, so get yourself ready. We've got pedigrain, bergamot, pepper, neroli, lemon, chamomile, lavender, oak, geranium, carnation, sandalwood, musk, vetiver, and amber. Now, for those of you who might not be familiar with tabak, with a name like that, you would think, okay, there's certainly tobacco. I thought there's tobacco flower uh, in the scent, but that's not really, that's not in the breakdown. That's not to say that combinations of notes couldn't give that you know, the impression of tobacco or tobacco flower, but for those expecting maybe like a sweet tobacco, a pipe tobacco, that is not what this scent is about. It is old school, it's floral, it's masculine, clean. There's a lot of masculine and clean scents in this classic series. It has often been described as uh, smelling like grandma's purse. There's a term called granny florals uh, from some of the more classic scents. Maybe some of those notes kind of fell out of fashion in modern perfuming. I think that's certainly what gives the grandma's purse kind of impression. For me personally, coming back to the scent, it's really not as bad as my memory, but I think if you are only used to what you smelled at the mall, this very could well be the first time that you've come across a scent like this. I don't know if I'd straight out say I like the scent, but I can certainly appreciate it and have a better understanding of where it comes from. All right, so the first pass, no problems whatsoever. I did, however, want to share some observations about the Zenith Big Scrubby. So this might be on the count that it's still not fully broken in, but I do know that picking up soap or maybe holding enough lather in this brush has been a challenge in the past and a source of frustration. And another factor is, I'm not sure how much we've talked about it on the channel before, but uh, for those who have really sensitive skin, uh, brush burn. So from kind of too much lathering with something that might be too scrubby, um, people can get some irritation on their face. And I, I think for newer wet shavers, it can be easy, easy to confuse brush burn and a allergic reaction to a soap. But something like the big scrubby, if you have really delicate, sensitive skin, I would not recommend this kind of bore, bore brush from you. Also, I would say given the shortness of the loft, this one is more of a painter. Uh, it doesn't really splay, it's too dense and yeah, again, too, too short of a loft to really splay much on your face. So if that's the style that you also face lather, this brush is not for you.
Very nice shave today. Despite the challenges I mentioned with the boar brush, we got the job done in two passes, no less. So great, great shave. Let's use the uh, the rice water serum. Here, right, right here. And let me try to show you the consistency of the product. So you can see it's certainly uh, kind of kind of runny. Uh, I, I know some folks don't like too thick of a product, especially in warmer weather. And even in the bottle, you can see, yeah, you can easily see it kind of moving around within the bottle. So that that's the you know, relative texture, viscosity of this product. All right, so let's move on to the wrap up. First off, let's talk about the razor. Uh, I didn't mention too much about it, but uh, with a light touch, this did a great job. I think I kind of tempered the aggressiveness using an Astra SP blade, which tends to be the smoothest slash mildest of the blades um, I stock in my shave then. It actually exceeded my expectations and my memory. In fact, I thought I would have to do that third pass or cleanup pass, but it did a really good job cleaning up you know, my, my neck spots that usually I need to do a little cleanup on. So that was great. As for the star of the video today, Tabak, it did a wonderful job. I, I know I didn't touch upon, I think there might've been a recent formulation, uh, a changing of the factory, a changing of the formula. Guys, I am not a hardcore Tabak fan, so I'm sorry that I don't have more information. Like how does this compare to the older formulation and whatnot? All I know is it provided a, a, a more than decent shave. My face is feeling good. Uh, the scent, that was really more what I was kind of focusing my attention on. This is better than my memory serves, really. Uh, it's not a scent that I would you know, typically gravitate towards. Uh, I, but I think if you're open to a floral, musky, classic masculine scent, then this is, this is a really different one uh, that's readily available. Points for uniqueness, and there is a rich history behind the soap. There are many diehard fans of it today. So I would say as long as that scent doesn't sound too scary to you, try the shave stick. You don't have to pick up the, again, you don't have to pick up that big old glass jar of it. I think this is a nice way to try out the soap. And I certainly believe that it does hold a place in that classic pantheon of shave soaps. And lastly, I wanna to touch upon the Zenith Big Scrubby. This brush, I don't think it's for me. Uh, I could keep breaking it in, but I think that's not gonna change how scrubby this brush feels. And I thought I wanted this amount of scrub. I actually don't. So basically, my loss is your gain. This brush, the Big Scrubby, is gonna be up for the next channel giveaway. Not this video, mind you. Uh, it'll probably be uh, within a week. I'll, I'll put out a separate video to do a giveaway and do some other fun stuff. But if you've been wanting to try a bore, if you've heard of Zenith and you like a good scrubby brush, this might be for you. And also I'll be making that giveaway open to all regions. So be excited. And again, keep your eye out for that video. But that's gonna do it for today's shave. Guys, this series has been really fun. It's been great doing some research and seeing you know, what people consider to be classic, what are soaps I might have forgotten about that I used in the past and that I can revisit. I hope you're having as much fun watching it as I am recording these. I wanna thank you guys so much for taking some time out of your busy day for joining me for this shave. I hope you have a great day and I'll catch you next time. Take care. Today's video was made possible in part by our wonderful patrons. For more information about our Patreon, check out patreon.com slash lathertalk. You can also check out our Etsy store and pick up a comfy lathertalk t-shirt or coffee mug. Find all the links down below.